And when you talk about mystery, um, I guess if you're us, you pretty quickly move to film noir. <laughs> Mainly for the cool lighting and hot ladies. That's, that's why. ODST is in black and white. Yes. <laughs> And for us, uh, there was a lot of stuff that was exciting about noir, Mike. I mean, I know, hopefully, that was helpful to you guys during the process. Yeah, it was certainly inspirational. I know that Justin, uh, you, he, he felt like he finally had an ally on the story side to kind of push the, uh, the look of a Halo game beyond what people were used to, um, more use of screen effects to play with color shifting, a uh, higher degree of contrast, meaning in some areas you might have blackness or darkness that in previous games we had to uh, fill with, uh, with light in order to make it playable. So we felt like, hey, finally we can start playing around with color and light in a way that we hadn't before, thanks to the choice of film noir. Now, there were certain things that we couldn't achieve, but you know, we'll also have the next game to try for that. I think once the words film noir were uttered, all the disciplines really glommed onto that, you know, um, music, art, lighting, uh, you know, writing, even, even like the names of the characters and the, and the dialogue that uh, is in the script, it's very film noir, and it's just something that everybody could understand. The mix film noir with Halo, and this, this is our game, and we could all kind of run in our different directions and then come back at the end and everything fit together. Yeah, I'm glad you guys uh, thought I was cool. I thought when I said film noir, you were gonna beat me up, because you know usually that's what happens when you walk around saying film noir to people, they just... <laughs> <laughs> Um, one, of the, one of the cool things about film noir is it's not just a really cool visual aesthetic, but it's got these great archetypal characters. So, you know, in film noir mystery stories, you've usually got um, this crazy, not crazy, this sort of lone gumshoe detective guy, right? This mysterious stranger that no one really knows much about, hard-boiled character. And for us, this was a perfect fit for the player character in the game. You know, we knew we wanted you to play as an ODST, but making the ODST a mysterious, dark uh, character was really, really great. And Along the way, early on, we produced this image, which really, I think, captured the spirit, exactly the spirit of the game, from the lighting to the character, the whole, the whole mood of the piece. Now, Marty, at this point, you know, we could break out and play a little music if you yeah. wanted. I don't think these fine people would mind if they saw my desktop. And <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna cut in here real quick and show us uh, <coughs> what I got inspired to do film noir. Are you gonna talk over your music? Before I start talking, make sure you stop that one, yeah. Uh, I do want to say that, like, Harold, who's the, the studio, our, 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 what's he called again? President? I don't know what he is. He's something. He's in charge. He writes your checks. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so Harold came and said, yeah, we're going to do this, uh, this uh, uh, campaign extension, and uh, we, we need some good ideas, and uh, he, he, it's going to be a limited scope, because we're going to try to turn it around pretty quick, so a limited scope. And I said, oh, yeah, that's, that's a really cool idea. And he goes, yeah, I got Paul and Joe working on it. I'm like, oh, yeah. So there goes the limited scope, which is why, <laughs> I mean, he couldn't have gotten two guys better in the studio to do something like this, but the idea of it being small and limited is impossible. So it, it I feels really it, creepy when you compliment me. I think he just called me small and limited. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, go ahead and uh, stand up and... <laughs> we'll be here all night. <laughs> all right, so what do you want me to play all night? Uh, well, let's... <laughs> See, I'm so used to that, I don't even notice when he does it. Uh, let's play a little of the... The first thing I did when I sat down at the piano, and yeah, but before you play it... Okay. I was just going to say that uh, Joe had played some uh, Miles Davis for me, and it was a little too trumpet, it was a little too uh, jazz, but I, I like the idea of something that evoked a small jazz combo we kind of feel, and that film noir dark feel. So I threw away all the Halo themes that we'd ever heard and decided to try to do something new, and I wanted to know what does it feel like to be in a, uh, a dark city at night in the rain and be sort of alone? So this is the first little piece that we started with. You can play that as loud as you want, actually. Little sax in the phone. Feel free to dance. If anybody wants to get romantic, we can, we can take the lights down a little. Marty, talk us through this. Talk us, talk us through what you were feeling here. See, this is the amazing thing. For me, it's like, I listen to music. I don't usually talk over music, but that's okay. Joe always talks over the music. He writes dialogue over the music. This is 
just a little rainy, dark, mysterious mood thing. Some uh, activities about to start here. You know you're going to be walking through some rainy streets. Ooh, something's going to happen. So these are some of the themes. They don't feel all that much like Halo, but there you go. <laughs> so we can... <laughs> Thank you very much. Marty did, the, Marty, did the idea for the sax come to you just immediately, or how did that whole thing come about? Well, it, it came to me because I didn't want to do muted trumpet like Joe wanted me to do, so... Uh, huh. I, saxophone I said smoky sax. I was... Well, you see, I, but you don't know what smoky sax actually means. <laughs> I think you probably thought I said smoky sax, and you just didn't... <laughs> Uh, keep it clean, yes, exactly. Uh, the, the other nice thing about this, I was really excited to be able to do all new music uh, for this small scale thing, which was going to be about an hour or two's worth of, of gameplay, and then it turned into uh, pretty much eight to ten hours of gameplay. Oh, 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 hey, hey, you know, it's really variable depending on the difficulty level. And what <laughs> Good save, Joe. Can somebody cut off Marty's mic, please? <laughs> Yes, you can rush through anything, but you should spend your time playing this game because there's a lot of cool stuff in it. And there's over three hours of music in it, which I had to write. Ooh, yeah. So, <laughs> several other people, by the way. Uh, just, just to give some props out there, too. C. Paul, who's one of my audio designers, actually contributed some music and worked with me on it. Mike Salvatore, the guy I've worked with for years, and another guy named Stan Lepard. So we all had to really crank up a bunch of music for this small scoped game. Now, is there any, Brian, you want to jump in? Or? I just wanted to ask, three hours seems like an awful lot, like almost like it could stand on its own. <laughs> it could stand on its own, and maybe even make like a double CD soundtrack out of it. Oh, yeah. you don't say. Yeah. Which is coming out on September 22nd, along with the game, so you should pre-order it from Amazon right now, right, Brian? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. We're not here to plug. We're here to, you know, enlighten. My daughter's in the front row. I need to continue to feed her. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> Even though she's married. Sorry, Gavin. Right, right, right. Now, did you, did you, this is, this is really beautiful stuff. Do you want to play more of it? Do you want to go back to no, the, let's go are back. you done? All right, so we're going back. Hang on a sec. Brian, feel free to say something. Take me <laughs> <so>. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> do the grunt voice. We haven't heard from Lars yet. Lars, how you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> Bring us back, Joe. All right, back. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> 